Uh, today I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. This is what I'm calling the ultimate epic fail remixed created thank the lord I saved myself experience because I made something and I was rushing to make it. I was taking off going on this PR tour and uh, I kind of screwed up. It ended up working out but I was thinking I was like I could ditch this video where I could show you guys my process and show you what happens when I like royally screw something up and how I fix it because you know, most cooking shows, they don't show you that. Everything always works out perfectly. But here's what happens when things go terribly wrong. All right, so the, the first logical step is, of course, you know, you get your pizza dough. You can make it yourself. Um, but I bought the pizza dough. It was quick. I like the pizza spot. So here I am trying to roll out the pizza dough. I didn't have flour. I would usually use flour. So what I was trying to do is kind of, you know, just sort of get my hands in there and kind of work it out and get it to the right size. But... Unfortunately, it was sticking a lot more than I wanted. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll use cornmeal. Sometimes I use that in pizza for the bottom. Uh, maybe that will help. And uh, I could tell you I thought wrong, uh, very wrong. So what actually happened instead was <laughs> I was starting to push it down. The cornmeal was actually doing a great job at not letting the dough stick to anything, but that was a problem because it was just slipping and sliding everywhere. So mistake number one, but I continued to push on. So now here I am trying to do the sort of pizza thing, you know, get it with your hands. Yeah, yeah, kind of worked. I didn't want to rip the pizza dough, um, but I'm still trying to push it down and like, okay, all right, yeah, we get it, Josh. You don't really know what you're doing. You made pizza a million times. You should know this, but you're rushing. You're not thinking. It's okay, because sometimes we don't have a lot of time and we just want to do things real quick. So here I am finally getting it to about a good personal pan pizza side. So at this point, you know, things are a little bit rushed, but they're starting to work. I'm like, hey, you know, I, I can make this. This is a pretzel stuffed cheese crust pizza. I think Domino's Pizza Hut, one of those two. So I take the string cheese and I, I try to break it in half, but it's too rubbery because it's not real cheese. I don't know what the hell it is, but uh, I'm trying, trying to make this thing work. So all you do is you take the string cheese and you sort of put it around the outer edge. You know, you can cut it in half to make it smaller, whatever size you want. This part seemed easy enough. It made sense to me. I've done similar stuff to this before. So then you kind of take it and you roll over the sides and you just want to cover the cheese because that's how you're getting that cheese crust. So at this point, listen, if you're not trying to make a pretzel pizza thing, then you could just add your toppings and bake it and you would have a stuffed crust cheese pizza, which is pretty awesome within itself. But I wanted to do the pretzel crust stuffed cheese pizza. So I'm like, okay, you know, I, I know how to make pretzels, I know how to make pizza, here you go. So I start adding the sauce down, I'm adding a little bit of that sauce, sprinkling just tomato sauce, you know, pizza sauce, whatever you have, sauce, and then cheese, and then pepperoni. It's, it's that simple, right? It's that simple, like I said, right? Right, right, right? Actually, wrong. It is not that simple, and I'm going to show you why in just a second, because here I am thinking I'm such a genius. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to just sprinkle this cheese down. And then, oh, crap, it hits me. I need to pre-boil this freaking thing first. And I added the toppings. I'm an idiot. So what I did was I boiled some water, and I add baking soda to that. Because by putting the dough in there, that gives it that pretzel coloring and flavor. Um, and then I had to scrape off, as you can kind of see, I had to scrape off all the toppings. I was like, you stupid idiot, you son of a bitch. So that's okay, you know, I, I, I tried, and you can see sort of uh, some of it bubbling away because I am a, you know, just a wee bit of an idiot, but no big deal. Um, the cheese sort of ended up in there. And, and then this freaking bubble of air started coming up. I'm like, oh, God, what's going on? And, and is this going to work? How am I supposed to get this thing out of the water? I mean, look at this freaking mess. And you only want to keep it in there for a minute, but it... The dough cooks a little bit and look, <laughs> I mean seriously, you kidding me? Look at that thing. So it's all screwed up. Look how crappy, just remember how crappy this looks right now. Think about all those times where maybe you've been in the kitchen and something like that's happening and you're like, oh God, um, this is no good. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to keep prevailing. So I, I'm trying to fold it over, trying to push it back and look, it ended up sort of working. Um, in hindsight, I should have maybe done something differently but look it worked so I go back on now you take your sea salt coarse sea salt if you don't have pretzel salt if you have pretzel salt go for that and then you just sprinkle that all over and now if I just bake this as it is it's gonna be this incredible like pretzel 
stuffed cheesy thing. But I wanted to add the pizza stuff to it, right? So here we are again, my old friend, Mr. Pizza Sauce. Put down, you know how to do it, just roll it in and then you add your cheese. And then comes the pepperoni. And here's where things actually got kind of funny because I put on like, just watch this, this pizza, right? I put on enough pepperoni and cheese to, to cover the whole thing. I mean, look, there's, you'll see, there's plenty of pepperoni coming down. But when it baked, it had a mind of its own. And some weird things started happening. It started bubbling up in the center. I was like, oh God, what's going on? And not only that, like it ended up looking like I put on two pieces of pepperoni and the pizza like barely had any pepperoni because it expanded so much. So in hindsight, again, I would have probably, uh, you know, done something different, maybe made the pizza a little bit uh, thicker, but I was rushing. Uh, it's okay, but look, see, see that like it kind of made this hump, like a hump diddy hump and like all the pepperoni's gone almost. <laughs> it's just hilarious looking, but you can see that pretzel crust, right? Look at it. I got the pretzel crust. Now, I really just wanted to show you guys that you can fail epically in the kitchen. Oh, here we go again. My tripod as I'm going in for the final beauty cut shot. My tripod. I didn't even pay attention. I was rushing so much. It just fell right down. Here I am cutting it thinking I'm getting this great shot. But guess what? You're not going to see the shot. You're going to see the post shot. You see there's a cheese in the crust. I gave it a taste. It was incredible. But again, I wanted to show you guys what happens if you screw up while you're trying to cook something. You know, life isn't perfect. Things go wrong. And... You know, most cooking shows, they don't want to show you that, but we're all human, you know, and we want to know how to fix things when they're screwed up, and this is one way to do that, and just want to show you that the thing still came out incredible, it tasted great, it was hilarious, it made for a great story. Anyhow, thanks guys for sticking around, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, epic fail video.